All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Mike Curley. This is Frank Curley. And this is the C-Team. And I did a little, uh, let's call it housekeeping. I grabbed yeah, a chest. Yeah, you, you explained to me uh, that uh, we've uh, gone places. Yeah, I've been using we the missions. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. I've been using the missions to kind of farm people without actually having to play. Missions are... So, we got which some... Will, which will always be a curious. So, we got some decisions. Not a lot of decisions, because you have, like, a thousand. But... Figure uh, crippling. I would say if we can, crippling and uh, silencing. Okay, you definitely can, and then some. Oh, all right. We have Hide two. advantage. You probably want that boost oh, yeah, 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 yeah. for that. Uh, in raiding. This no, we, does we don't want more raid. for every debuff the enemy has. Ooh, yes. That sounds very in character. Okay. This is the one that. Someone hits you and they go somewhere else. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Let's see who else needs. Uh... All right, I want to hold off on this because I really want. Actually, I do need something. Uh... Yeah, random mass healing. Because initiative, that's really good. That's like you get an extra turn to start with. Where is he, like, well, uh, I might have uh, Kate Seth back in the day. Oh, yeah. How you, uh, you, you could completely screw yourself with that, too. This, I'm, I'm holding out for double cast. Yeah. Uh, this, am I holding out for something, or just... I think I was holding out for mass, ha mass haste. Yeah. What, what, what's Katara got? Well, I got her as an alchemistic. Uh, I don't know how he ended up with this, but... Sure, why not? Oh, yes. Uh, so right. Connor also has some have some choices. Wind Spirit does damage in an area, a large area around the character. Ooh, yes. Now let's see critical focus. What does that do? That means uh, you get focus when your hit points go to critical, and that's uh, basically means your next thing will be double whatever damage you're healing. But this also puts you in defend, and you take half damage from all attacks until the next turn. Uh, as, a, as like an extra bonus. Probably handy. This one is... Uh, does damage that ignores defense, but reduces your own magical defense as a consequence. Yeah, yeah critical focus, that's up. Okay. Adrenaline. This physical damage to the target. Inflicts bleed on the character. Uh, sure. The character's next turn will come 50% faster. I think this means that it makes you bleed. That's a fascinating ability. I'm, I'm trying to work out the, how that would happen in real life. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I guess unlock it because you know, yeah. it's in the way. So we have finisher. 2.4 thunder damage. Right. Reduces your attack afterward. Okay, so it's good. We really need to finish something. Yeah, it is a, a finisher, uh, and actually, um, you can't yeah. afford your third one right now. Yeah, but we, we have that unlocked. So, okay. So is there anybody else? Oh, uh, Stellaron. I think you put quite a bit of work into. Yeah, uh, I got him. I got him to War Mage, and yes. War Mage's deal is. Uh, this is the best, the better thing. It's infused edge. You do a regular physical attack and then a single target version of any spell that bypasses any counter abilities. Yeah. You also, so basically, if somebody, you know, the one counter ability like uh, avoid all magic, it would get past that. Okay. Let's just make sure everybody's got everything set right. Let's see, did, did you want to switch to teleport other or keep it a counter shot? Um. Yeah, you know, counter shot. Keep keep it up. Uh, AK Death Magic, that's good. Critical quick, and I want to keep that. <coughs> that's good for keeping him alive. It's good for keeping her alive. Well, you keep the healer alive, keep everyone alive. Yeah. Generally speaking. So we'll switch Connor to uh, Critical Focus. Alright. Evade magic, that's also good to have. Uh, 
to Zaris. Yeah, so I picked up some pets, got them a couple levels, but everybody else I got to like level 20 or 21. All right, and there's a couple characters who are close to ready for uh, some of the other classes, the uh, Beastmaster and the Wrangler. All right. I'm gonna hold off on that. Let's see, was there anything else I wanted to craft? Badges, okay, we don't need. Maybe we start using the pets. Let's see, the gear. Anything we don't already own? Ah, uh, just the collars. Again, we'll start using the pets, maybe. Okay, so first things first, let's see what's going on here. Alright. Probably some kind of cutscene. Oh yeah, look, there's Aoken chilling on the side. Huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's just all, the only good thing you're about to have. Celeron, so, or somebody's holding up a vigil up there. Yeah. That's what I do. I do like that story and camp cutscenes. Your your custom characters, they don't get any lines or anything, but they're there. Yeah, one thing, add, like, maybe this would be easier with polygons, but, like, one thing I'll add is just, like, hobby. Like, what do they do in the background? Are they playing instruments? Are they, mm. you know, drawing something? Hmm. Yeah, but I do like that there is the touch there, that they, you know, they are yeah. present. Malcubi. There's a demon. Of that, there's a demon that looks like Nathan Fillion. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, Yates knows all about demons. He knows, he knows, he has approximate knowledge of many things. Well, this is a little weird, because he was just kind of confronted with the existence of spirits. I guess demons are different than spirits of a person. I don't know. Well, demons are always going to be, like, uh, being able to be between spirit and actual... I mean, not necessarily. Sometimes they're just ugly, evil things from hell. From a hell-like dimension, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, actual spirits and souls. Oh, jeez. I tend to forget that mine are the only trained eyes. Really humble, there he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, between the monsters that we fought last time and what happened to Anodyne outside the cabin when she had horns and stuff. I think that's the next stop on the story is to visit the the little people, the little lizard. Did you say the lizards? Uh, little turtle things. Yeah. But yes, there was. Well, there was one of those. The Kawa was there when these things were summoned. So Yates is kind of putting two and two together. Don't trouble you. I've already given you nightmares. We already talked about demons and so on. Yeah. yeah, talking to Yates for any length of time is, is mildly troubling. Yeah. So, like, a, a demon usually, ha you know, I feel like be demons in a lot of fiction as a way of, like, bypassing dimensions and stuff like that. Yeah. So that, that's, and because... The, you know, in old, olden times, there was an explanation of why someone was acting nuts. You know, that, that, that's why, you know, possession tends to be a pretty standard for demons, in my mind. Okay, so we have a choice here. This is the plot. Okay, so go there later. Got it. The other thing we could do is, uh, there are things we can do to help advance the golden ending. One of them is to backtrack. I think there was an encounter here, and then a scene at this temple. And is there a demon there? Oh, that was another thing from uh, some of the uh, missions unlock hunts. Okay. So there's like a super powerful thing there that we we would have to choose. Like it's not gonna block us from getting there. Okay, okay. So th there's a big monster there. Okay, okay. 
Um, so... The other thing I should it, do is check everybody's it, equipment, too. Spear... I think everybody's about as well equipped as they can be. Yes, I got him the Mongosh. Mongosh like candy. <laughs> I just got a holy mace. Mostly for irony's sake. <laughs> just bash yourself in the face with it runs a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Stay down. Okay, so I think everybody's clear too. Okay, so obviously the golden ending is the better ending, so let's go for that. Okay. Yes, and there's a. Uh, the little Kawa uh, merchant, we have to keep him alive. And he will give us something later. Oh boy. Oh, huh, just noticed. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the eye with the traveling bag. The hobo minotaur. Hey, tell me tough. Of course, it's a hapless traveler. Yeah, so we have to bail him out. So. Oh, should have saved first. Oh well. I mean, we did just load up. Yeah. But what happens if we just lose? Can we just try again? Um, I forget, actually. <laughs> okay, this one's weak to fire. Weak to water. Death cold. Water. Well, uh, we need to look at the names. Deathcore. What's that one? Gorm the undefeated. Okay, that's oh, that's, nice. that's testing fight. Um, Jimmy. Jim <laughs> Genbu. I feel like we've seen a Genbu before. Yeah. Rujasu and LB. Oh no, doctors this time. Okay, where is this? Eleven, twelve. Just why does it just let you click on it and it just shows you? You'd think, but yeah, no, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what that's what most Fire Emblem games do. They have something weird like that. Yeah. Alright, I've already gotten the chests here. Unless there is one I missed. That and I did not. Okay. So we to fire. To fire. I feel like I have somebody with a fire crossbow that we can abuse this with. Oh, these are the guys, yeah. If they have a straight line to you, they will hit you really hard. Yeah. So, so we want to avoid, avoid that. that. Um, yeah. Alright. So let's see, uh I'll put him here, because he has a thing where he can use some... You can, like, grab a component and then do more stuff. Uh, let's put... Yeah. Yeah, why not? Ooh, that's a new sword. Yeah, I forget what I actually gave him. Bolt brand. Okay, those, oh, those okay, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Uh, electric. It's not great in this fight, actually, because everybody seems to be... It's like, we could swap his equipment. Can we switch with battle? No. Oh, okay. Alright, we do want some mages here. Let's go with... Actually, I think he's got mage stuff. Not very powerful, but it'll do. Let's go with all Virgil. <laughs> go on, Virgil. Mm, let's see. Mm. I know I'm going to use a couple of the regular characters just because uh, I couldn't, you can't send them on missions. Ah, uh, right. So. Don't be, be a little embarrassing to have a level. All right, let's see what we can do for Connor. Get him something. And I think Anadine looks like she also has a lightning thing. Who's just got that? Okay. No, Anna Deech has got uh, the Holy Mace. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Alright, uh, where is... There she is. Okay, we'll just swap. This, so he can... Do that. Just do, need to borrow this. Let's see. I right, got the gun. Alright, I think we're good. Okay. Fitting for the character in all those iterations. Yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. 
We're coming, Somier. Somier. Why are you going toward the enemies? Oh, because you're hitting with the war rocks. Thank you. Really helps. Okay, mm -hmm. I was gonna... Alright. I'm not gonna get the classic desert music. Let's see. Debuffs. Buffs. Now let's see how this goes. Let's hope it doesn't backfire. First time I use it. Okay. Rebirth. Sounds good. See, and he can do that. He He's got the quick fingers thing. Since, since the friend we, we, we base him off of is kind of an agent of chaos, that makes a bit of sense. Let's see, who can I shoot from here? Almost everybody. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, almost nobody. But I can. Can I get any closer? I cannot. Alright. Alright, I'll try to see if I can slow down. at least. Yes, good. Yay! Alright, I'm gonna move him forward a little bit. Because he's basically just there to take out uh, the floating dude. Alright. Yes, how about you move toward us so we can defend you better? This is one of the worst part. Well, <clears throat> one of the many bad parts of Fire Emblem Faith. Uh, the, 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 when you need to rescue someone, their AI is just beyond stupid. Yeah, like that kind of. I, I mean, everyone running into the enemy base. Let's see. I remember throwing my hands, just like, what the hell? What do you expect me to do here? Okay, not really much to do there. Uh, okay, can't really reach anything, so I'll just speed up a little bit. That's fair. Okay, good. Alright, just have to take the potential hit. Yeah. Yeah, kind of figured. Kiting uh, over there is, is a good thing to do anyway. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do something about that. Oh, tell me he's not gonna just, like, die instantly. Okay, I'm good. Well, it is his turn next. Dish. <laughs> okay, good. Just keep doing that. All right, and the, the, oh, why did you move? Good question. Let's see. Sales push does haste. Uh, around him, so we don't need to do that now. Let's see. Yeah, charm somebody. Why not? Hey, help over that's our. I have money. That's water. Okay, yeah, that'll do. That's the one that's got fire weakness. Oh, it's gonna hit him too. All right. Actually, can I? Uh, actually, it might be better to let Anodyne finish him. And get an extra turn. Alright. Instead. Zap him. 
Because why not? Now I've got rid of the barrier at least. Oh, come on. Leave the little guy alone. Let's see, who is weak, weak to fire? Uh, these guys. Actually, might be where Razor Wind comes in handy. Alright. A little stunning. What else is... Yeah, I'll come back a few eggs. Alright, hopefully I can silence this guy, because otherwise it's going to be real bad for... Our friends. Seventy five percent. All right. <clears throat> ah, dang it! Stop that, please. All right, that's fair. <laughs> yep. Kill him. Yeah, I had a bit of, I had a couple of uh, moments. Yeah, playing fire on the wars just. Please God, don't hit him. Please God, don't hit him. Please God. Don't hit him. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I mean, he's... He's next. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we'll be delaying. I don't think so. Let's see what I can do, though. Uh, might be able to do something. Okay, that's rocks in the way. Uh, he's still probably still moving and do the thing. Hmm. What? No way, just draw, draw the tension. Dang it. Okay. Ah, just have to hope. Yeah. I can shove him. So we'll have to, uh, yeah, game over. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, it doesn't even, so good. It doesn't even let you. All right. All right, so let's try. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. So, well, let's see. That's 25 hours. Okay, so this is the most recent. Let's see how it puts us. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, so we did the event. Okay, let's see. Hmm. What can we do? Um, we need a healer closer to him, I guess. Maybe if we get maybe more tanky to go like right up front, just a dent down the path. Yeah. Uh, there's no way. To... Okay. Uh, all right, let's try this again. So that's that's our first outright defeat. Could have been avoided if Sumir would have moved toward us instead of literally anything else he did. Okay, I still want to start with him, because he's quick. And maybe put... Maybe just put more people over here. Yeah. But to be fair, we've, we've had some hairy moments that, that we... Yeah, of course. We narrowly escaped. Yeah. Right, who else? Who did we have? Oh, yeah, Connor. Yeah. Put him over here all by himself. Oh yeah, we gotta change his equipment. Actually, he ends up closer to... Oh, yeah, f flame run. Yeah, but he ends up closer to the water guys. Mm. So that might be better. Like, these guys. 
Like, if he can kite them. Yuck. Like, he's kind of a... Oh, you know what? I'll put him here. Yeah. Okay, so new plan is everybody move forward as fast as possible. Yeah. All right. Again, which farm would bring back the, the rescue command? Why do you go... You could have gone that way. All right, actually, the thing I should probably do is... Oh, we don't have the thing for that. Damn. Virgil, just survive, please. Please work as a buff. God damn it. <sighs> Alright, that didn't work out quite how I hoped. Alright. That's a great start. We're off to a great start. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's see if we can at least get this going. Hopefully this procs again. Yes, good. Yep, yep, yep. I know he's in trouble. <sighs> yes, very glad to see you. Try to not die so quickly this time. What do you think is the worst defense mission you've ever had in a game? Uh, I don't know. It is it is hard to say. Um, if I were to pick one, I think it would be defending uh, the the emperor uh, toward the end of the Oblivion uh, main quest. Hmm. So I think this is a glitch. But they have him just wearing regular clothing and a helmet. Hmm. And the way the level scaling is in in that game makes, you know... Oh, I know exactly what is the worst defending mission, but go on. Okay. And because it's just kind of how Oblivion works, it... M makes every aspect of that effect like that that engine just was not great for mm. or the way they designed that game was not great for big battles at all and so it it, it, it just became an absolute joy. like there, there's a point like you have to wait for this big gate to open to go into that and the, there was the first time I got through the gate I was told after I got through the gate of oh, the emperor's dead oh yeah it's a pain Yeah, whether it's the tippy top worst, I don't know, but it's definitely up there. So, what, what, what is your example? Uh, the roof of Ryavanas Castle in uh, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, okay. where the person you have to defend is like literally suicidal, <laughs> and the enemies are so fast it's entirely possible to lose the fight before you get a single turn. Uh, it's like, you have to play as a ninja to have any chance at all, and it is just not yeah, the, good. That, yeah, that, 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 that's bad. Yeah, and it's at the tail end of uh... It's at the tail end of a, like, several fights that if you've been saving in the middle of it... You'd screw yourself. Yes. Ugh. You know, that reminds me of a conversation I had with a friend when I was, def when I was uh, trying out uh, basically this tabletop RPG system I've been designing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, one question you approached me with, like, like, what do you do in scenarios where um, everyone has to, you know, pass an agility check or die, and you leave people out? I basically made the point point of saying that, well, that's just a badly designed scenario. 
Yeah, that's not good yeah. game design. Yeah, and yeah, no matter what system, I mean, D and D doesn't really have a solution for that. Yeah, like um, what you, what you need in that case is a flexible flexible DM. Yeah, but, and uh, you know, making tweaks and everything like that. If you give a player a you know thousands of choices they can make along the way and most of them are wrong mm. that that's that's just not a great you know design choice I mean the advantage that tabletop games have is you know changes can be made and there can be a session zero as to what kind of adventure you know you're going to have so if, if you do one on a heist you know, you, you can you can you know design characters you know, accordingly you know, for that yeah, but in a video game, you, it and you give all those choices, you you still need to be able to get through with with those builds. Let's see what we can do here. So yeah, requiring everyone to be a ninja or you just fail. Yeah, we're definitely doing better. They're a bit more scattered. Yeah. Around. That's a good chunk of damage. I mean, yeah. And it'll probably make him focus on uh, healing. healing rather than attacking himself. Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, he's got that thing that I wanted for War Mage. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, and it poisoned them? Jesus. Alright. Alright, makes it have a roll. That is, roll. That is the idea. Not quite a kill, but get the ball rolling. Yeah. Oh, and level up. Good. Now, where are you going? Damn it. Well, he will probably just... I was going to say heal himself. But why, dude? <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, there is... That reminds me. There is uh, one other aspect of this guy... That's something that doubles the potency of all items. <laughs> oh, that big guy's nice. Yeah, but it probably is. Oh, oh okay, his, his health's good. Yeah, and his health uh, isn't, so. <sighs> yeah. Roar. Okay, I wish the wizard wasn't slow still, but whatever. I'm helping, says Joe. Well, Joe did help. He just killed the guy with a rock. Oh, yeah. that's right. I can get rid of him. Probably. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. yes. Get yeah. out of here. Leave. Up yours. You are, not you are not welcome in this place. Yeah. Okay. Now for healing or something. Uh, let's see. Where well, can the bug guy look wounds? Nobody has a healing specific spell. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, Connor can start doing delay stuff again. Alright. Our friend there has like a real like ninja turtle grin there. Yeah. Maybe slow people down a little bit more. Slow down the guy that's right next to the person. Fifty percent. Uh, that's how I go. Damn it. Yeah. Need to start working. Oh no! No, this health kind of sucks. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, 
I think he needs this. Yeah. Fine, be that way. Good. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Piss off over there. Alright, let's see. We got uh, him and... Who is the other guy? South? Maybe? We're missing somebody? No, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh! Right behind that. Oh, door. okay. Bullshit. Alright, so Connor. Burrow Heist! No. Let's see. First thing Connor's gonna do is get some health back by doing that. And nice. Razor Wind to. Make him not go next. Yeah. All right, let's form a defensive perimeter around the small squishy guy. Who has like the worst survival instinct I've ever seen in the game. Yeah. Well, okay. It, it's still worse than Fates, but this isn't good either. Not ideal. What's the uh, mage looking like? Did I not give him? He does should have missed this. Okay, yeah, he's already out of uh, magic. I still think that overall escort missions and you know, rescue and all that are much better in turn base. Yeah, it gives you more time to take care of things. Yeah. Um, in... Leave him alone. In Resident Evil 4, I, I'd say it works because you're you're dealing with, you know, basic... What are you doing? Oh, you need... Yeah, well, that's I mean, great, but thanks, you, but... You needed that. More. But anyway, Resident Evil 4, it, it, it oh, works. Oh, I swear to God, if you die because you did that, I'm going to hurt you. Yeah, because there's two... Oh, you jerk. You stupid, stupid jerk. Let's see. Maybe I can... The set trap right next to me. Hopefully... No, of course not. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I think we're going to cut this episode here and come back. Uh, <laughs> See you all next time. Yeah, jeez, okay. Bye. <laughs>